Hi, my name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we'll see how we can update Excel tables from Microsoft Power Automate. With that said, let's go. In this lesson, we will learn how to update Excel tables with Microsoft Power Automate. First, we got an Excel sheet here in OneDrive. Let me find it. It's just a simple uh, example Excel sheet with an idea, name, and a sale. For example, we can say that the first the first sale will have an, the ID of one. Then the name could be Angela, and the sale of her could be seven thousand. Of course, we could have much more information, but this is just the example. So now we created this um, Excel sheet here in OneDrive online. Let's head back to Microsoft uh, Power Automate and create a flow so we can update uh, with more data in our Excel sheet. So click create and just choose an instant flow. We could call it update Excel table. We'll just choose a manual trigger like we will start it ourselves Then click create. Up here in, the, in this step we need to Ask the user for some input, so just click Add Input. Of course, we could choose uh, any input, uh, like in another step, but uh, we'll just use manually. So click Text, the first one, that'll be the idea. That's a unique identifier, which is quite important. So this one will be the idea. Then we will add the name. And finally, we will add a uh, sale number like this and then we will um, add a new step so now we ask the user for some input the user will input it and then we'll add uh, a new step and we will um, paste in the data in the excel sheet so uh, we we'll choose excel online as a excel onedrive as well you can choose and then we will um, find the um, add a row into a table here. The location that will in my case be the OneDrive, but you can see that we can choose from a lot of uh, different, uh, we can just choose uh, SharePoint and, and something, but mine will be located in OneDrive. You saw that. The document library, we can even choose the drop down. It'll just be the OneDrive. Then we will find the file. I placed it in a folder called Anders Power Automate called Sales. That was the Excel sheet you just saw before here. Then we will um, select a table and I named this table, see it, this table here, I named it Sales. So um, what we want is we want to just refer to this table. And we'll do that by just, uh, we can choose the drop down here, personal sales, I call it, sorry. And uh, then we see that uh, in this personal sales, we got some idea, we got a name and a sale, and we just need to refer to what we typed in up here. So click here and then manually trigger a flow. We'll just choose idea, that's uh, from, and then we choose name and sale. So that was quite easy. And we choose sale like this, and then we click save. Now we can run it. We can even test it here. So first, we'll just save and test. So then it asks, it says that we need Excel Online, and it's uh, fine because we already signed in. Then we can continue. And now it asks us for some input. We will put in some input because we'll need that in a later example. So the idea will be two, and the name will be Anders. I'll just, and the sale will be a thousand. So that one's done. We will uh, look for it afterwards because um, we will go back here. We will run it again. I think we will run it like four or five times. But uh, if you got a point, then you can just fast forward over this. However, we will Bill, he made a sale of 11,000 like this. And then we will run it once more. Hillary, she made a sale of 6,000, we can say. Like this. Click done. And now we can make like a fifth um, row to our Excel sheet before we jump over to the Excel. So that will be 
ID5, that will be meta. Of course, uh, this data could be updated from another data sources, but it was, this is just the simplest example, so uh, we'll go with that for now. Run again, done. And then we can head to our Excel sheet here, and we can see that it updated with all the data we gave, so now we get an updated Excel sheet. That, will, that is how that is done.